Hey guys, today we're going to review my mom's car. It's a 2015 Jaguar F-Type Coupe and it's dope as hell. But first let's see if I can fit in it. Okay, the answer is yes, I can, with one caveat. Head is touching the roof and the roof is too low for me to see out of unless I do this. So there's that. Not really meant for someone over 6'2", I would say. But we'll make it work, because it's an F-Type and it's dope. <coughs> Whoa. The sound of that startup means this is the V6S model. Uh, before you start going into whining about why it's not the V8, my mother is in her 60s. She would absolutely kill herself if this was the V8. <laughs> so. I get it. We've also done lots of V8 coverage, and I have a V8 coupe coming really soon, so um, let's check out the 6. Uh, I have pressed the button that my mother will never press, the loud mode, which I love. I've also moved the shift lever to the left into sport mode, which I'm certain she will never do. <laughs> and I've hit the checkered flag dynamic mode here, which, uh, yeah. She'll never touch any of those three buttons, so fortunately, her loving son is here to make sure her car is, uh, is cared for. We are in the beautiful Greenwich, Connecticut, my hometown. We have uh, uh, some amazing driving roads here, and oh, the exhaust on this is amazing. And uh, we're just going to go for uh, just for a little drive. sounds like a skyline or something when you wind it out. I mean, this is the V6 is just, it's got to be the best sounding V6 on the market. If you can think of a better sounding V6, let me know, but I think this one is pretty amazing. Watch out for the cyclist. This car is, as I said before, spectacularly beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen. Uh, the way it's spec'd out now in uh, British Racing Green over tan. The flake in it is just amazing. This one's really loaded up. It's got, you know, basically every option you can uh, get. I don't really know of any options that you can get that aren't on this one. <clears throat> Jesus. You know, there is an argument for the V8. 500 pounds of torque. I mean, the instant throttle response of that V8 is amazing, but there is an equal argument for the 6. Center exhausts are always the coolest. This sound is really amazing. It's... Oh, <laughs> I love it. The 6 does feel a bit lighter on its feet, and also you can get deeper into the throttle more often. I'm not saying slow car fast, but I am saying that V6 can be a bit, or I'm sorry, the V8 can be a bit scary because of all that torque and how quickly you can access it. This one, you can use a little more pedal. You can wait a little bit on the things that you should be waiting for, you know, when you're not a professional racing driver, but, a, but an enthusiast. Wow. This one has less than a thousand miles on it, so sorry, Mom. I promised her I would never ask to borrow her car, ever, except for this one time. So I'm doing it for you guys, I swear. Beautiful roads in Greenwich. Okay, so, the car. The steering is really good. We know the 911s is a little bit better, but it's so nice. It's so nice on its own. If you please, just look at it in its own context and not in a versus the 911, the ZF gearbox is spectacular as expected very quick in automatic mode it starts in second most of the time really fast shifts really smooth they don't upset the chassis you can right here you can change gear mid corner you're not going to upset the chassis right there the brake pedal feel is really nice it has good balance through these corners Obviously, I'm on a public road in the middle of the day, so we're not going to do anything too stupid in my mom's car, but it's a nice day for a drive in the country. The more I play with it, the less I like Jaguar Land Rover's interface here. I wish there were some scrolly knobs. That kind of bums me out that I have to, to peck and paw at it. Uh, 
but the other controls I really like. These toggles are really cool. The shift lever, sort of a fighter plane thing is neat. We need to find the new road because we're stuck behind a Chevy Traverse uh, at the moment. So what else can we talk about in the car? It's got these sports seats, which I highly recommend. Not only are they really comfortable, they look really cool. I cannot recommend the British Racing Green color highly enough. It is unbelievable in the light. Oh my God, you just wind it out for the sake of winding it out. Oh, the rear spoilers popped up. I can see that in the rear view mirror, which is funny because it takes up at least 40% of the view out of the back. <laughs> This car has a wonderful smoothness to it. It's really fluid. There's no, there's no jerkiness to anything it does. It's really, it changes gear really fluidly. It applies the power in such an even way. And it's got a ferocity to it without being uh, intimidating, you know? It's, it's, it's fast, no question. I mean, 380 horsepower, I know that there are cars that I that have more power than this that I refer to as not that fast, such as the RS5 uh, convertible, but in this chassis, which is relatively small, this much power, it's enough. It's enough. Certainly more than enough for my mother, who I hope makes it out of this car alive. so much to like here. I wish I fit a little bit better in it. Oh my god. Let's just bang a left. Let's see where this goes. Old Mill Road. Okay. I mean, my mom tells me that people of all types come up to her in this car, and I don't blame her because just in the couple of minutes I spent uh, driving it over here, I had a few camera phones going, and they certainly weren't looking at me. It turns heads, this thing, for sure. At least as much as, you know, the Bentley GT, which I recently drove, and, uh, you know, kind of nobody really looks at that. But this thing, it's probably partially because it's new, and partially because it's so beautiful that everyone, everyone, and also you can hear it from about 10 miles away. The sound on this car, carries. When we were at the track driving these things, the V6 would really, really carry a long way. <laughs> so if you're planning on doing anything too criminal, you might want to sacrifice loud for a uh, get out of jail. This road is very tight, very technical, and covered in leaves. Big rain last night. Oh, overcrest. It's been a while. <laughs> now where do I go? Right, okay. <laughs> We're doing it as we go, people. Real time. I'm like one of those people that just comes to Connecticut to watch the leaves change color and ruin their peace and quiet with a Jaguar. Also, it is pronounced Jaguar, not Jaguar, because the word is from Portuguese, not from the Queen's English. Look it up, people. Such a technical road. This would be great in my old Mini. This is actually probably too much car. But I hope I'm giving you guys a nice scenic tour. There's always that. I really like driving this car. I mean, there are certainly better cars for the money. There are certainly faster cars for the money. But, you know, like the Aston Martins, I kind of don't care. I sort of just, just want to keep driving it. And, and driving it fast. There's Tommy Hilfiger's house. Wow. What a machine. I hope it keeps working as well as it, as it works right now. I hope my mom enjoys it. And I hope I can keep myself from uh, stealing it from her too often. <laughs> Back to California with you. Thank you.